If you were going to pick one episode of Conquering the Euro to watch in its entirety, today is definitely that one. Despite all the rubbish I've been saying in the last few episodes about, ooh, we're out of the Champions League race, there is a very strong chance and there's a very real chance that if we win today's two games, we can still qualify for the Champions League. This is crunch time. Hello there everyone, it is TIJ and welcome to the finale of Season 2 of Conquering the Euro with Liverpool. Today we have two matches in the Premier League against West Ham United and Leicester City. If we win both of those, we can qualify for the Champions League. The permutations look like this. We are two points behind Chelsea. They are the only two positions that we can change. Of course, we can still finish sixth behind Tottenham. But if we win today's two games against Leicester and West Ham... And Chelsea drop three points, so really they've got to lose one of the games. If we win both the games and Chelsea lose both, uh, sorry, one of those games, then we are in the Champions League. And Chelsea are on quite a poor run. They've lost the last two games, albeit against Arsenal and Man United. They've got Crystal Palace and West Ham, but they can still slip up in those games. But bizarrely, I've never seen this before. Um, all of the games on the penultimate weekend are being played at exactly the same time at quarter to one. Chelsea have got Palace... And we've got West Ham. So let's have a look how we've got in this position. Now, we've only played two games. We won them both against Crystal Palace and against Swansea. But for today's game against West Ham, we have this team in place. It's going to be a fantastic episode. So make sure you stay tuned for the entirety. Alison Becker's in the net with Alexander Arnold, Mia, Van Dijk, and Robertson at the back. Vinaldon, Grucic, and Kay to take up midfield. We're going for a different attacking midfield today. But the two that have played the best this season, Trinkau and Gnabry. Gnabry, our top goal scorer, and Trinkau, our top assist maker. It makes complete sense to put them both in the attacking midfield. With Roberto Firmino, our top striking power. Obviously, Gnabry scored the most goals. But our top striker this season, Firmino, starts up front. So, if we lose today's game against West Ham and Chelsea win, we're out of it. But... If we win if we win today, we take it down to the last game. That's basically what happens, but we have got to win this game. We have got to win today's two games. We've had a poor season, but to be given the opportunity to do something here is very... We're very lucky to have the opportunity to do something. So hopefully the players take it to their advantage and hopefully we can win today's two games. That's the most that we can do. If we don't win today's two games and don't qualify, then that's our own fault. If we don't win against West Ham and Leicester and we don't qualify... That's our own fault. But if we muck it up, then we can blame ourselves. You know, we, we, if we do all we can do today, if we get six points, we've done all we can do. But we've had a very strong start, it seems, with dominating possession. Arsenal are behind against... Uh, actually, if Arsenal lose both of their games and we completely batter West Ham and Leicester, we can still qualify into third. But I don't think it's very likely. No, it's not, actually. No, it's not. Scrap that. Ignore that. But we've got a chance. Trinkau down the line. Can he add to his assist list? It doesn't look like quite yet. Alexander-Arnold to Grucic. Come on, let's get an early goal. Grucic, don't do that. Grucic back to Mir. Tottenham are losing against Cardiff. So if they lose today and we win, then we're going to finish either fifth or fourth. Which is good for us, to be fair. Finishing fifth would not be a disaster. But we want to get Champions League qualification. River disaster from the defender. And it's another assist from Francisco Trinkau to Roberto Firmino. The top scorer now, I think, Firmino. Ticks him not self as because... He levels with Gnabry on 18. Our top assist maker, Trinko, who no doubt should be the Premier League player of the season. Something ridiculous, like 14 assists, to Firmino, and he's made his 1-0 to the Liverpool. Now, Chelsea haven't took the lead. They're still drawing in their game, so it's going to be a long two games. But back in uh, from Robertson, back to Vinaldon, back to Robertson. Vinaldon to Robertson once again. Robertson to Alexander-Arnold. Alexander-Arnold. Can you do anything? No, it's gone straight to Jack Wilshere. I must admit that ever since we've come out of the Champions League with that disastrous episode last time out, oh, this could be a bad one. I'll talk to you after this opportunity. Yeah, luckily, our doubt of each is way out with that. But ever since we've been knocked out of the Champions League, we've been on a really good run. We've won, won our last two Premier League games. And if we win today's two Premier League games, you have to say we've had been on a really good Premier League run, which is nice to see. Good stuff from all game near there. But I do feel that it might be a goal for West Ham. It seems that our defence... Has been quite shoddy to say the least. Arnautovic to Simeone and it's back level for West Ham. Something that we need to do today is make sure that we don't concede the goals. We conceded there but we want to make sure that we don't concede. So perhaps putting Alisson back as a goalkeeper rather than a sweeper keeper might be the best thing. But it's not just about Alisson. We are going to put our wing backs to support rather than automatic. Just to make sure that they do support the attack but then do come back when they are needed. Just so it takes the individual choice out for them and just so we can have a few more opportunities because 
if we draw today and Chelsea win, we're out of it. That's simple. Pardon me. But uh, Chelsea have took the lead now against Crystal Palace. So as it stands, we can't qualify for the Champions League. But if we win, again, I'll keep saying this, but I just want to keep reminding you, if we win and Chelsea win, it's very much still in the balance. Morata getting the goal for Chelsea. Can we get the goal? Lovely ball from Gnabry to Firmino. Through on goal and Fabianski. A good one to say, but uh, not a good shot from Firmino. It says even says at the bottom, what a howler, as he hangs his head in shame. But there's still a long way to go, A, in today's episode, and B, in today's game. But in today's game, we've got to win to make today's episode a success, because we've got to win both of these games. There's no way that we can slip up here, because if we slip up here and Chelsea win, we can't qualify for the Champions League. At the end of the day, we could still keep our job if we finish fifth, because the board might look and think, well, you've been a bit unlucky at the end of the day. Um, but we're going to have to tell the players we're not happy with our performance. We told the lads at the start that we needed to win, and they're not winning at the moment. So we're not happy. I think that's absolutely fair enough. But 45 minutes left. It's 50-50 in terms of possession. We've had more shots, and hopefully we can be nice and clinical this half. Alexander Arnold, good ball to Grouchy. We want some balanced build-up play. Not like that, really, from Vinaldum, but now West Ham have got the ball back. That's not the best thing that Vinaldum could have done. But Gnabry gets the ball back for Mourinho. To Gnabry, Gnabry, oh, it's poor from Gnabry. Don't quite know what happened there with Gnabry, but West Ham have now got the ball back. Obiang on the ball. Good ball through, but Alexander Arnold gets it back. Trincao, Trincao coming central. He runs through to Vinaldum on the wing. Back out, straight on the wing to Alexander Arnold. Alexander Arnold puts it into the box for Trincao. That's got to be a goal, but I think it's going to count as a Jack O'Connell own goal. But we are going to go cautious now. We're going to tell the players to tighten up. We are one ahead. We're one goal ahead, and I think we might benefit from a little bit more focus on our defence. But I'll tell you what, if we get another goal here, that would really help us out. But Gnabry, Naby Keita. Gnabry on the ball. Lovely stuff. He shoots. Jesus Christ. Wow. That was unfortunate. Just off the bar. That could have been an absolutely splendid goal to all but wrap up this match. But West Ham might have more to say than we think. Felipe by Anderson in the box. Shoots. Allison gets it. Good stuff. We're on counter-attacking. So really, we should be putting a bit more focus on defence. If he gets the last 10 minutes, we will part the bus. But it might be time for a few defensive change. Now, Torre is going to come on for Alexander-Arnold. He's shattered. Um, we can't really bring anyone on for Van Dijk because we haven't got another centre-back. We have, actually, I'll lie, um, Almi Torre, and we're just going to have to play, unfortunately, Moreno at, at right-back. Something I'm sure that he's not going to be very pleased with. But for the sake of the game today, um, you know, he's going to have to play there. He's going to have to play on the other wing. I don't really get why they're that bad at playing on the other wing because surely it's just the opposite, but on the other wing. It might be something to do with his weak foot, I'm not really sure, but... Hopefully, in the next 15 minutes, we can keep them out. Uh, Gnabry's not had a, the best of games today. We'll check this highlight before we continue. Robertson puts it into the box, and Cresswell gets it out. This could be the West Ham goal that kills us off. I do wonder, and maybe we've gone cautious a little bit too early. But really, because we're defending, we shouldn't be conceding a goal. Felipe Anderson runs through the defence. This isn't going to be a goal, surely. Felipe Anderson scores. Damn it! Oh, dear, 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 dear. Right, we're going to have to demand more. Um, and we're going to do... What are we going to do? We're going to have to look at our bench. See what we can bring on and see what we can do. Because a draw is not enough today. We have to win. So I think we bring Origi on for... What do we bring Origi on for? Bring Origi on for... Uh, bring him on for Grucic. No, we won't. We're going to bring him on for Kater. Because Kater's been a bit rubbish today, to say the least. So bring him on for Kater. Um, put him up front. So there's two men up front now. Uh, Firmino put him as a deep line forward. And then put Origi as an advanced forward. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do something now with that. But I'm a little bit worried. I'm not going to pass into space because that never seems to work. But we've changed that. We've done all we can do now. And now we have to go and score to keep our hopes alive. Of course, Crystal Palace could help us out by getting a goal against Chelsea. But ultimately, we have to do all that we can do here at the London Stadium. We've got 10 minutes left. Come on, can we do something? I've still got five from the players. We've had a rubbish season. A bit of luck would be absolutely... Look, well, it'd be lovely if we get a bit of luck here. But still, West Ham could go and win this game, which would not be the best. Tottenham are now back in their game against Cardiff. It's 2-2. Two -two. And Declan Rice very nearly gets the winning goal for West Ham. Can we get the goal to win this game? I don't think it's going to happen. So unfortunate after such a brilliant start. Come on. Come on, five minutes to go. We're going to have to go very attacking. Tell the players to just get up there. We can't do anything more. It's going to be it, isn't it? That's going to be it. Oh, Trinko with a late free kick. That was close, to be fair. But that's the end of the game. 
And unless Chelsea have bottled it in the last minute, we are out of the Champions League running. We're going to have to just check, though, before we go into uh, the next game. We could possibly get the sack in this screen if we haven't qualified for the Champions League. Um, yeah, Chelsea won. So we're out of the running. We can't qualify for the Champions League, but we are in the Europa League. So now we are fighting for fifth place after that shoddy draw. We should have won that match. Right. Okay. It's going to be even more good if, if Chelsea go and lose now. We've got to go and beat Leicester to make sure we finish fifth ahead of Tottenham and qualify for the Europa League with style. So as we come to the end of the season, we've got to look at our comparison to last year. Now, we only got six more points at this uh, last year, which will probably be three more points than we did this year if we win today's game against Leicester. So for us to be two positions apart and seeing that the team in sixth will probably score a lot more than the team in sixth last year, you have to say that the Premier League has been a lot more competitive this year. It should be a change of the guard in terms of Man United potentially winning the league. That is going to happen unless City win their game. Uh, by quite a bit, and United do the opposite. But we haven't done all that bad. If we finish fifth, it's not going to be the end of the world. But we've got the game against Leicester, and we have put exactly the same team out there that we did play against West Ham. So I think it's probably the best team that we can play, and the best form team that's there at the moment. We've got a few players on the bench that aren't usually there, Lalana and Milner, which we'll be saying goodbye to, I think, at the end of the season. Um, so I think that even though we, it's an important match for this one, if we are, you know, relatively in front, as I think it's just said there, we've skipped past the question. Um, if we are decently in front, we will bring those two players on to say goodbye to them. Because Milner and Lallana in real life have been very good players. They are very good players, but there's people in the team that have overtook them. And at the end of the day, um, there's no point in them being here anymore. If they're just, they're just being paid um, because Milner's been down in the reserves for a lot of the season. We've got a hell of a lot of midfields, and with the likes of Grucic coming through now, we signed... Um, there we go. Grucic has just got a goal. That's just proof that Grucic is coming through. But we've got players like Grucic. We've bought Gertz. We've got a lot of youngsters coming through. And Milner and Lana, unfortunately, just don't fit into that setup. Now, we've just took the lead against Leicester. So if we win today's match, then we were only three points behind what we did last year. And three points, crucially, would have put us into the, the Champions League, I think. It would have been very close. But to be fair, you know, potentially last year was an off year for a lot of the teams. You know, the likes of Arsenal and Chelsea. But they've got back into the Champions League at the expense of us. But it's going to be very tight in the end. It might be two points, might be three points. But it's going to be interesting to look at this um, United and City title battle, which is still going on. United have got Cardiff and City have got Watford. So I would guess that both teams are winning, that United will win the title, but we have seen weirder end uh, season days before. But Leicester have got nothing to play for. They're down in 12, so their season is very much over. But uh, there's no doubt there'll probably be a pound in the bottom for us, which they very nearly have been there um, in Harry Maguire, nearly getting a goal for them. But City are 3 0 ahead against Watford, so they're very much doing all they can do to win the title. Um, but I think, unfortunately, for their Manchester United, they're going to win their title for the first time in a long time. On the edge of half time, can Leicester get a goal back? They tried to. But the post denies them. Now, I don't know what to do with this defence over the summer. Because it's very clear that we're not defending very well. And I don't know who to bring in. Because right back, Alexander-Arnold, who can replace him. The two centre-backs, Van Dijk and Gomez, solid. I'm going to have to have a look at their form. Because from watching them, I can't judge who the weak link in that defence is. But it's got to be someone. Whether it's Alisson, whether it's one of the other defenders. But I think we are going to have to invest in somebody over the summer. Um, to try and short this defence. Because actually... I think, I don't, I'm not absolutely sure, but I am 95% positive. I, I can check once we get into the, uh, load, well, not loading screen, but the loading screen for the next highlight, that we've scored the most goals this season. Uh, yeah, we have by one at the moment, as it stands. 71 goals, but we've conceded 45 compared to a lot of the other teams conceding the likes of, you know, 20, 30. And those 15 extra goals that we've conceded have made a massive difference. Okay, if you're playing Gegenpress, Press, you are going to concede the odd extra goal, but... I think that if we got to the point of those teams that we're not conceding as many goals, we will be title contenders. But the problem is we're conceding too many goals to be up there. And it's not the attack that's the problem. But if you're investing in attackers and they're scoring and doing their job, but ultimately the defence lets the team down, then it is ultimately a little bit of a shame. But I think we're six minutes in. I think it would be appropriate now to make the change to bring Lallana and, Ger uh, Lallana and Milner on. So bring Vinaldum off for Milner. Um, and we will bring Lalana on for Cater. And we'll put Lalana in the attacking midfield. Be a shame to see Lalana go. Um, but I think he's been linked with the likes of um, LA Galaxy, which would be a nice career move for him. He's 31 years of age. He's still got a lot of time left in his career. You know, if he went to a, 
a lesser Premier League club. Perhaps someone like Leicester. Uh, you know, if he, if he went to a Premier League club, that wouldn't be the worst move for him in the world. But what's really annoying me now is that we're, we should win this game. I'm, I'm not counting all my lucky stars yet, but we should win this game. And Chelsea are only drawing their game. If we'd have won both games, we would be in the Champions League. That West Ham game and that Felipe Anderson goal is going to prove pivotal, as I said it would do. And that is really, really frustrating. But it's happened. We can't really let the past um, annoy us and, and we can't dwell on the past, really. And I, I am looking forward to a new season with Liverpool. Provided we keep our job, we could still be sacked because we haven't meet, read, uh, reached our top goal of getting in the Premier League, uh, in the Champions League, in the Premier League. Through the Premier League, rather. I can't I can't get my words out today. But we A, we're very close, um, apart from the fact that Madison's just got a goal. We are draw specialists this year. It seems we are very much draw specialists. We haven't lost the massive games, but we are draw specialists. You know, we, we, we drew a lot of games to start the season. We've drawn 13 games this year. I mean, Chelsea, Man City have drawn 12, which might be their downfall in not winning this title. But we've drawn 13 games in this. Oh, my God. West Ham had beaten Chelsea. That makes it even more painful. Oh, no. I mean, we've bottled it again today, but it's painful. It is really painful to see, um, you know, the Chelsea bottle it. And uh, like I said, if we make our, mis our own mistakes, it's our own fault. But that is a real shame. I think we're going to end the season off. It looks like we've two draws. It's very much categorised the season. We're very lucky, actually, to keep fifth place as it stands because Tottenham are only two goals down in terms of goal difference. So we are very, very lucky. Um, we could still win this game. Good ball from Torre through to Firmino. The game's not over just yet. Dawson, well, the game might be not over yet, but we might still finish in sixth. But a lovely ball from Lallana to Gnabry. Gnabry into the box for Milner. Can it be his last stand? It isn't. No, it is. It is. I don't know if it knows happened. It's in. Who scored? Who scored? Oh, it's a own goal. But Lallana and Milner both go and celebrate. I don't quite know who got that one. But we have got the goal. So it looks like win the game. Let's have a look at this. We are going to... Well, let's see what happened. Gnabry puts it into the box for Milner. Milner makes contact. It comes off the post. <coughs> Milner has another shot. Uh, Blackman... Uh, sorry, number 16 goes for it. And then Lalana tries to hit it. And Benkovic puts it into the back of the net. And uh, yeah, it's in the back of the net. So... We've won this game, which makes it even more painful that we haven't qualified for the Champions League because Chelsea have gone and lost to West Ham. Oh, that's painful. That's really painful. On the justice of a point, on the justice of one goal, we aren't going to qualify for the Champions League, which is a real, real kick in the teeth. But we've won our last game. That's a good way to end the Premier League. And we have qualified all beat for some form of European football in the Europa League. It's a bit of a, a downwards turn, but... Yeah. <sighs> It's European football. Sometimes it doesn't happen. There's only four teams that can finish in those Champions League places. And we haven't been one of those this season. We've just got to suck it up and do a little bit better next time. But I do wonder whether we'll keep our job, which is hence why we're not quite cutting away yet. I want to see what happens because we still could be sacked. But mm, we've got an achievement. Unstoppable force. You probably won't be able to see this. Uh, but we still scored on most league goals over a season. So, we've qualified for the Europa League. Um, yeah, we've qualified for the Europa League. I don't know why we've got twice... Well done, everyone. We've qualified. Cheers. Man United have won the Premier League. Groach is inspired the Premier League win. We're going to send the assistant to that. And then I just... Oh, we might... Well, I'm trying to see if we can get um, our board budget. It's going to be quite a nice one. We're going to get quite a cushy budget to spend some money in the summer. But, well, it's going to be an interesting year. Because I said that three years is going to be the one at Liverpool. I feel like we've got to win the league next year. It's got to happen. But... Oh, given this campaign, it's not going to be easy. And it's certainly not going to be easy to compete with the two Manchester clubs that have dominated the Premier League for the last two years. And probably even more than that, if you look at it in the past. We are going to browse, though, because we're not going to continue forever. We can't find our budgets, then we will end off there. We have got quite a cushy budget. I think we're going to keep our job, though, surprisingly. I'm, I am a little bit surprised at that. Uh, no, again, we haven't got any budgets. But our budget looks fairly cushy at the moment. We've got a nice um, 48 million, which can be moved to about 100 million. Um, but our season has not all been that bad. If we look um, at some of our stats of our players, Gnabry and Firmino, very good season. Highest average rating, Salah. Most assists, Trinko. Uh, player of the match is Gnabry. So that leaves us, where does that leave us? Does it leave us anywhere in the Premier League stats? Trinko, pardon me, gets the most assists level with former players. So, so on average rating, I think that Salah and Gnabry have got to be up there. Um, Gnabry in seventh, which isn't all that bad. A um, bit of a poor last game, probably took him down. Distance covered over 90 minutes, very good for us. Um, but in terms of goals, we weren't too far off in terms of goal, top goal scorer. But not the best campaign. 
So we will be back tomorrow, whether we leave Liverpool or anybody else, we still could get the sack, we'll be tempted to go elsewhere. We'll be back tomorrow at 6pm, as always, with the start of Season 3 with Liverpool and hopefully our title winning season. So if you're looking forward to that, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, click on any of the end screen elements if you can't wait till tomorrow. But if it is tomorrow already, which doesn't make any sense, make sure to click on the next video, which will be somewhere in the suggested videos list, hopefully. But thank you very much for watching, folks. But until the next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.